Fun. Uh, I, I've been traveling, doing stand-up. I've been traveling. I went to Atlanta. Make some noise if you've been to Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta's dope. I had a great time in Atlanta. My trip up to Atlanta, though, it sucked. Because I was trying to be cheap. I don't want to spend like a lot of money on an airline ticket, right? And I ended up purchasing a ticket from the most ghettoest airlines on earth. And I know y'all heard of it because it's popular. It's called um, uh, Greyhound. And uh, <laughs> planes don't even get off the ground. I'm like, we're taking off? What are we doing? We're just gonna say I took, a, I took a trip to Atlanta, and uh, my bus driver was from like the hood of Atlanta. So when he was doing the, the bus driver announcements, I didn't understand a word that was going on. I was confused. I was like, I needed Rosetta Stone or something so I could understand what he was talking about. He just got on the bus. He was so excited. He was like, all right, straight up, straight up, straight up. I'm your bed driver. That me? <laughs> uh, my name's Jamal, but you can call me Young Juicy. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> now, we're going to drive all the way to Atlanta, but I got to do a few announcements. They wait everybody on the same page. I don't want nobody to get off. Right. Big boy with purple lips, no smoking on this bus. Going to put that thing out. Ain't no drinking on this bus, and most importantly, ain't no sex on this bus unless you involve me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I just need a quick pack, pack, and I'm going to get it right back. I'm going to get it right back. <laughs> you don't like this, too. I actually put, I took the liberty of putting my mixtape under your seat. Yeah, so if you want to listen to some music, you can go and put my music in. Uh, and I gave it to everybody. I was like, Oprah with it. I was like, you get a mixtape. You get a mixtape. Everybody get a mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> don't put my mixtape in. And then I did put his mixtape in, guys. I put his mixtape in. But it was just him doing bus driver announcements. So I was like, this is shitty. <laughs> this sucks. This is so But at that point, I was like, thank God he doesn't fly planes. That would suck. That would suck. If you get out of Southwest and you hear, all right, straight up, straight up, straight up. I'm your plane driver. Plane driver. You mean pilot? I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk. <laughs> Live here in uh, Orlando. Uh, I, I was actually tricked into moving to Orlando. I was tricked uh, by Disney. Disney tricked me. They got me good. They got this thing called the Disney College Program. I don't know if y'all heard of it. The Disney College Program. Uh, it's basically where they take college students and make them slaves. And uh, I'm a survivor. I escaped. Yeah. Rosa Parks. <laughs> no, I used, to, I used to work for Disney. I was a character at Disney. And I, I, by the way, if you guys are Disney fans right now, I'm about to mess up the magic. I just want to let y'all know. <laughs> All the magic's about to go out the window. All right. I was, a, I, was a, I was working at Disney. I was a character at Disney. I was a few characters. I was, a, I was Baloo. I was Genie. I was Woody. One time, they made me be a character I didn't want to be. Okay? It's a true story. They made me be Queen of Hearts. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I come into work. My manager was so excited to see me. He was like, Justin, I'm so excited to see you. Um, you know, Sarah, uh, she's sick. So, uh, we need somebody to take her position, and your name came up, and we need you to put on a dress and go out in the park and be Queen of Hearts. I was like, I need y'all to kill yourselves. If y'all think I'm going to do that, I'm not going to do that. And they're like, oh, well, if you don't do it, then get fired. I was like, calm down. Let me see the dress. Give me the dress. Give me the dress. <laughs> And I put on a dress, and I go out in the park, and you, as a character, you can't speak, you can't talk, you gotta act out what you are. So, I'm acting like a queen and whatnot, but, <laughs> but it was weird, man, it was weird for me. And, and it was, I didn't know how disgusting dudes are. Like, dudes are very disrespectful. Ladies, I get it now. I didn't know until I had to be a girl for two hours. Like, I, I get it now. There's this, there was this dad at the park, right? He was slapping me on the ass. Like he was slapping, he was like, yeah, you will, your booty, yeah, your majesty. He's slapping me on this, and he came with his family. Like his daughter was there, she was cheering him on. Like, yeah, daddy, I was like, what the hell is wrong with your kid, man? I had to act out to the wife, I was like, hey, you need to stop him, he's out of control, I don't know, he had some drink or something, like that. stop him. But she didn't do anything, so I got upset. It started messing with my pride, I was like, I gotta get this dude back. And this is how I got fired from Disney. <laughs> what happened was, the dude kept following me, smacking me on my butt, right? And I was going to my dressing room. I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to get him back. I go to the dressing room. I go to the door, and I pretend like I couldn't open the door. Like, I got real girly. I was like, oh, 
I'm gonna need somebody to get that door for me. <laughs> He's like, I got the door for you, man. See, you push it open. I was like, thank you, player. I appreciate that. <laughs> you have my ass for a clock out? I'm about to clock out, man. This is your last. <laughs> but when I did that, my mask came off, right? And the daughter saw my face. Oh, my God, Daddy, that's the way it hurts. That's when the dad flipped out. I could tell he was angry because he treated me how Terry Crews was on, Mar on the white chicks. Like, he was, he treated me how Terry Crews treated Marlon Wayne. That's how... That's how upset he was. As soon as my mask fell off, he's like, you mean to tell me that you're? I was like, yeah, I'm a man. Black! <laughs> and grab your ass in front of my daughter. Look, no, we need to kick them out. We need to make Disney great again. Build the wall. <laughs> <laughs> my last day at Disney, man. <laughs> uh, I'm actually from uh, Portland, Oregon, Memphis, Tennessee. Y'all been there? Portland, Oregon? Yeah. Portland, Oregon. Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, both of, Oregon was cool. I like Oregon. Memphis, it sucked. So if y'all plan on going to see Elvis, think again. Don't go there. Uh, Elvis is dope. You, you might just get robbed or something up there. But listen, this is this is how different Portland, Oregon, and Memphis are from each other. They're very different. I was raised in both. In Portland, Oregon, I went to school. I was the only black kid at my school, right? I moved to Memphis, Tennessee. I went to school. I was the only white kid. I was like, <laughs> this shit is weird. This is different. The music is like, you pronounce your words back for real straight up. I was like, I do, but I won't. If you don't want me to, you want to stop? I'll stop. I don't need to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm scared. It's crazy, it's crazy because uh, they were telling me I wasn't black, right? They were telling me I wasn't black. I didn't get it what, why they said that because I was like, I don't know if you guys see me, but. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much black, you know. I'm not like a flavor of flavor black, but I think this like would <laughs> what they do. And so we're we're the only race that does that too. Like black people, we're the only pick, uh, race that's like, yo, you ain't black. White people, y'all y'all never have to prove that you're white to another white person. You never have you never have proof. You you never you don't see this fucking Starbucks coffee like I'm. <laughs> We gotta prove that we're black to other black people, and I think it's so silly. It's so silly, man. Like, <laughs> so I was in Memphis. I'll tell you the story of what happened. I was in Memphis, and this dude, like, I, he called me an Oreo, right? For those who don't know what an Oreo is, he's basically telling me that I'm a white dude trapped inside a black guy's body. <laughs> Maybe y'all, some of y'all didn't hear what I said. <laughs> he told me I'm a white dude trapped inside a black guy's, like Tom Cruise is trying to pop out of my face right now. You know, like, you're still jumping on couches and shit? What are we doing, man? Like, like I, don't, I don't get it. Like, every time I'm trying to be white, I push it down with black power or something. Is that what I'm doing? Like, I was like, I like cucumber salads. Nah, chicken water, man, black shit. Yeah. Man called me an Oreo. He was like, yo, bro, if you were black, bro, like, if you were, like, cause you black. You black, but you ain't like black. And I don't know what this means. I don't know what this hand thing. I don't know if this is like a Jedi trick or something like that. Because <laughs> what he did, I was like, maybe I'm not black. Maybe I'm Dominican. I don't know. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, if you were to came to like where the hood was, bruh, you would have to prove that you black. How would you prove that you black? <laughs> I was like, uh, first off, uh, since so both of us are black, I say both of us, let's get in the car. Let's uh, drive to Alabama, right? To like a crazy, crazy cop pulls us over, right? And guess what? All of us are gonna die in the car. It's not like a, are <laughs> 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 not gonna pull the V out. It's like, you all right? Yeah, man, it was hot in there. I'm a oil. <laughs> let's go get some Starbucks. Let's get out of here, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But they do that, they tease me because I wear glasses. And I like wearing glasses. I don't know why you tease people that wear glasses. Like, I love, I love vision. To be able to see, that's, that's come on. Why would you make fun of me? I like to see. That's some cool shit. I want to be blind. <laughs> One thing I don't like about glasses, I don't like the fact they have fake glasses. Like, they have, like, they have glasses. There's people with 20-20 vision that wear glasses. And that, that bothers me. Like. People with 2020 vision that wear fake glasses are assholes. Every, all of them. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, because y'all don't need them. Y'all don't need it. Like me, I need my glasses. Like, I, I just wish 
if this was a thing, all right, I don't know if this is a thing, but if this was a thing, I wish that people with 2020 vision that wear fake glasses get AIDS in their eyes. I don't know if it's just, <laughs> I want them to feel my pain. I don't got AIDS in my eyes, guys. I just want eyes. <laughs> so I wear glasses so I can see. I have astigmatism, right? So I wear glasses. If I take my glasses off, right, one of my eyes starts slowly drifting to the left on its own. It's like a Forrest Whitaker thing going on. Like I look like movie credits or something. This is how I know my eyes are jacked up. At school, I could cheat. I could look at the teacher and one of my eyes would drift off at the same time. <laughs> I thought it was an X-Man or something. I'm like, I got mutant powers. I can see shit all over the place. Who's gonna stick up on me? My eye. So I wear glasses to see. I got in an argument with this young lady, right? We got in an argument over glasses. She was saying that glasses is a fashion thing. She was like, yo, it makes me look smart, makes me look classy. I was like, no, you look blind. You don't, I was like, I don't understand this. You don't get superpower from this. You don't get, it's like you making fun of my disability. Not being able to see, that's a disability, man. If I go, I would never do that. I would never do that. You would never see me at a club with crutches. And I'm like, hey, where the blood is at? I'm like, Justin, you quick look? Nah, I just thought the crutches look good with my jeans. I thought it's the fashion, right? Crutches, jeans, lips, it's a fashion. It's not a fashion. Plus, it's hard to fight with glasses on. It's very difficult to fight with glasses on because people with normal eyes, huh? They cheat. They don't fight you fairly. For example, I got in a fight with this one girl, right? And um, <laughs> she cheated. She totally cheated. She did something unnecessary in the fight. Like, I didn't expect at all, right? She walks up to me, she goes, Fault up my glasses. <laughs> and whoops my ass, man. It's like, you can't do that. That's in the Bible. Jesus said that. <laughs> I was so upset. Everybody was looking at me like, you gonna do something back? And I was like, I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it back. But I don't hit women because I'm smart. You know what I did, man? I walked up to her. I licked my thumb. And I wiped her eyebrow off. <laughs> I mean, cause now she can't be happy about what she just did. She has no facial expression. Like, you know? How's she gonna be happy? She has no eyebrows, you know? She has to text me emoji sign 